I never really wrote down. I'm, I'm just like not patient enough to like sit and write. I feel like it just takes a lot of my day. It's just. Recently, all anyone can talk about in the music industry is the future of Young Thug's trial. In May 2022, the Atlanta rapper and his 27 members of YSL got arrested under the RICO Act for gang-related charges. The police believe that Thug's YSL music label is just a crime syndicate who's working under the same name. Now, with every passing month, the hope that Young Thug's fans had has been diminishing. Now, let's talk about why everyone is saying that Thug's career is officially ending after this trial. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and a comment on this video. Also, if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Bad Social Conduct Even before all the RICO controversy, Young Thug was making waves for some little drama. In January of 2017, he didn't show up at a concert in Salem Stadium even after signing a $55,000 contract. He had done this before as well. In 2016, a Texas company filed a lawsuit against him for not performing in a concert. Now this type of behavior can get any rapper banned from performing in multiple states. That same year, he also physically assaulted a woman. The tap-out singer lost his temper and slapped her. There were claims that the woman was arguing with Jerrica Carlay Thug's fiancé. He then stepped in and hit the woman. However, the battery charges were dropped due to a lack of evidence, but still, the incident was enough to make headlines. Deep Involvement in the Drug Racket The reason why law enforcement is hell-bent on putting Young Thug behind bars is due to his long criminal charge sheet, especially to drugs and violence. In April of 2017, Young Thug's Sandy Springs house was raided by the police. The cops charged him with felony cocaine possession, felony marijuana possession, and three counts of felony gun possession. Eventually, the police had to drop the charges because they conducted the raid without a search warrant. That same month, he was also sued by Heritage Select Homes. They claimed he hadn't paid them $2.2 million for the house he bought. Later that same year, the relationship rapper got arrested again in Georgia because of multiple drug possession charges. He was released on a bond after a few days later. In 2018, he got arrested with intent to distribute meth, hydrocodone, and marijuana. Young Thug also had a firearm in his possession. Thug's lyrics are being used against him. When rap lyrics are used as evidence in court, many rappers know that that could be the end of their career. The case of Young Thug is also no different. The prosecutors have quoted many of his lyrics and deemed them as a confession. Young Thug even sent an audio recording from jail, which was shared by the founder of 300 Entertainment in which he urged people to sign the petition to protect black art. In the recording, he said, I always use my music as a form of artistic expression, and I see now that black artists and rappers don't have that freedom. Everybody, please sign the Protect Black Art petition and keep praying for us. I love you all. This has once again started the debate about why only black rappers are exclusively targeted about what they say in songs. The genre of rap thrives on hyperbole and talking about street life. Many big celebrities like Jay-Z, Cardi B, Drake, etc. have come in support of the Protect Black Art movement, which is meant to keep art as art and not get exploited in court. They're trying to get the rap bill passed, which is an abbreviation for Restoring Artistic Protection. The purpose of this act is to make sure that the lyrics shouldn't be used against the rapper about what they write about under creative freedom. Gunna pleaded guilty. This is probably the biggest reason why fans fear that Young Thug won't be able to win this case as his close fellow Gunna took the deal by pleading guilty to the charges. He saved himself from going to trial and cooperated with the police. To go into detail, taking a plea deal is sort of frowned upon in the hip-hop world. If a rapper takes a plea deal, it's automatically assumed that they snitched on their fellow rappers. In this case, people are calling out Gunna for throwing Young Thug under the bus. Everyone is saying that he gave the police a lot of information, which is why he was left free with just a slap on the wrist, whereas Young Thug is going into a deeper mess. Controversial rappers like WAC 100 and 6 9 were the first ones to publicly call out Gunna for taking the deal. By now, everybody can conclude that the police just want to put Young Thug behind bars. For them, he's the main fish. In this case, it looked shady to everyone that his closest associate took a plea deal. 
Gunna has totally denied giving any information. He even claimed that he won't testify in the trial. But it ain't true, as one of the conditions of his plea deal is for him to testify if the court asks him to. The other conditions of the plea deal are a four-year suspended sentence and being banned from having any contract with his co-defendants unless it is via his lawyers or a record label. In addition to this, he's also been ordered to perform 500 hours of community service. In this community service, he'll mostly talk to young people and will beware them of the hazards of criminal life. In conclusion, all of these things are pointing toward the fact that Young Thug's career is the last of his worries at the moment. The feds are on to him, and this time, his getting out is near to impossible. Even if he does get out due to something, there is a high chance that he'll go underground for some time, and this will have a low-key presence. For this, it's imperative that he won't release any music or come into the limelight. And with this, we've come to the very end of this video. Tell us in the comments below what you think will happen to Young Thug after trial. Let us know your thoughts on the whole video below. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, and if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.